Hello everyone, Herb Grover here. I'm taking a little hike, uh, stretching my legs a little bit at one of my favorite places here in Pagosa country, and that's Chimney Rock National Monument. The monument's run by the United States Forest Service, but I belong to a volunteer organization called the Chimney Rock Interpretive Association. And we help the Forest Service out by coordinating some education programs and some uh, site tours and helping with the gift shop and those sorts of things. It's a very interesting site. It has an interesting history and it certainly is significant to understand the Pueblo culture that uh, was dominant in this area over a thousand years ago. Uh, but there's so much to cover there that that will be the topic for some future videos. Today I just want to give you an introduction, a short introduction, to a video I produced last fall. And that video will give you some information about a phenomenon called the uh, uh, Northern Major Lunar Standstill. I don't need to say any more about it. It's it's covered in the video. At any rate, I hope you enjoy that. And uh, before I leave you, uh, well, it'd be great if you would like and subscribe and even share. And um, anyway, um, take care and stay well and uh, stay out of trouble. We'll see you later. Known for its two prominent sandstone spires, companion rock on the left and chimney rock on the right, the 4,700-acre Chimney Rock National Monument is the location of at least eight ancestral Puebloan settlements dating to over a thousand years ago. These landscape features are of great spiritual and historical significance to many of the more than 20 indigenous tribes living in the American Southwest today who have ancestral ties to Chimney Rock. Considered an outlier community of the Chacoan culture, centered approximately 90 miles to the southwest, the Great House, located atop the ridgeline leading to the twin sandstone spires, is thought to have been a significant ceremonial and archaeoastronomy observation point for the ancients who lived here. From here, the location of celestial events, such as the sunrise on the summer and winter solstices, could easily be viewed and referenced to landscape features on the horizon. Several vantage points along the ridgeline leading to the Twin Spires and along the north wall of the Great House provide a line-of-sight view of the sunrise on the summer solstice, which appears at a point near the southern base of Chimney Rock. The annual march of sunrises and sunsets along the horizon, north to south and back again, is well understood. What is more intriguing is the longer term and more complex pattern in where the moon rises on the horizon and how the lunar cycle influenced the timing of building episodes and perhaps the kinds and timing of ceremonies conducted by the ancients. Every 18.6 years the moon rises a few degrees north of the northernmost sunrise that occurs on the summer solstice. And this relationship of moonrise to sunrise remains observable for about three years. This phenomenon is called the Northern Major Lunar Standstill. There is one place in the world that we know of where moon rises during the lunar standstill is bracketed by a significant geologic feature, and that is here at Chimney Rock National Monument. The image of that event shown here was taken during the last lunar standstill about 18 years ago. There is compelling archaeological evidence that many buildings at Chimney Rock and in some other communities were constructed or expanded in accordance with the timing of the lunar standstill. The next northern major lunar standstill will peak in 2023 and 2024 with the full moon presenting itself between the spires during late fall and early winter lunar cycles. In December 2022, 
The full moon rose a few degrees to the south of the notch between the twin spires, emerging from the shadow of Chimney Rock about halfway up the spire. We can only imagine how observations like this might have fueled anticipation by the ancients for the more impressive moonrise the following year, and how this anticipation might have affected their community's seasonal and ceremonial calendars. <laughs> 